Okay, so welcome to this discussion on integral calculus. So now we will have here the integration of inverse trigonometric functions. We will have this one here, inverse, sorry, inverse, trigonometric functions okay okay so the integral of in which the result will be an inverse trigonometric function so for example here we have the first formula for that one so we have the integral of du over the square root of a squared minus u squared so that will be equal to the arc sine arc sine u over a plus c with the condition that a must be greater than zero so uh, actually this formula is just the reverse no the reverse of the 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 formula for the derivative of this function here the derivative of inverse trigonometric function so this is the first formula involving arc sine and we have also the integral no? the integral of du over u all over a squared minus u squared is equal to 1 over a arc tangent u over a plus c okay so these are the two formulas which we are going to use in integrating no, this type of integrals okay so this formula we must bear in mind that the u here you know, the du here or the derivative above is the function which is being squared on the denominator below this u squared here and u squared here so to meet the criteria for this one so we must first need to determine our u and get the derivative of our u then try to uh, see if our du has uh, uh, lacking no? or lacking in constant then we will uh, multiply the reciprocal of that no, of that constant outside our integral okay so maybe we, we could solve an example for this one no? sample okay maybe we just put our example here okay okay so example let's just move that one okay oops So we have here the integral. The integral. Okay, we just put here the number first. Okay. The integral of dx over square root of nine minus four x squared. Okay. So we have here our solution. No? We just have here our solution. Okay, so the very first thing to do is to determine our u so our u squared no if we are going to base our formula above our u squared is 4 x squared so our u will just be the square root of our u squared which is equal to the square root of 4 x squared so our u will be equal to 2 x no then our du will be equal to 2 the x okay then we could rewrite now our integral no integral of integral of dx all over square root of 9 4x squared so this will be Let's just uh, rewrite this one. No? Okay. X squared. Then this will be square root. 
Okay. So this will now be equal to the one half, no? One half integral of two dx. Because as you can see, our du here, du on our given integral is only dx. But as we as we get our u, we find out that our du, no, our du is equal to two dx. So that's why we put one half here, and we put our the actual du on this uh, side itself because it will just cancel out because of the one half outside and we will have the same integral as the given it will be equal to 9 minus 4x squared integral okay or right, square root so the formula going back to the formula above so this is clearly arc sine so we need to have also our a you know, from inspection on our given integral we could say that our a squared is equal to 9 so our a is just square root of a squared which is just square root of 9 and we will have here the answer of a is equal to 3 all right okay so now we could use our formula so this will be maybe we will have here See, we still have space. Okay, so maybe we'll add a page, no? So, we'll do this one on another page. Okay. Okay, so... Okay, so let's continue here our integral, no? Okay, maybe I will just move first the paper here, no? Okay, so we have here, say, so we have here the integral, no? Integral of du over the square root of 9 minus 4x squared, okay? This one that will be 9. This will be now equal to, it will be equal to arc sine u over a so our u will be 2x over a which is 3 plus c okay and this will now be our answer okay so the integral of du over, over square root of 9 minus 4x squared is equals to arc sine 2x over 2x over 3 but if you remember going back to our previous page so the integral here has a one half so we will just also copy them up one over two okay okay so i hope you understand something in this video and as always enjoy learning